While approaching Bohol, a medley of greens and blues greets the visitor. The aquatic scenery is dominated by the Maribohok Bay, which spans four towns and the provincial capital, Tagbilaran City. You can tell that the bay has shaped the city and its neighboring towns. Some of the locals literally fish for their meals, while others buy from the market. Their fish markets boast of the freshest catch from the sea, catching the eye of hungry buyers. But the sea's bounty is not endless. If the bay is not protected, the corals and eventually the fish may one day all disappear. Based in Tagbilaran City, the participatory organization of communities and education towards struggle for self-reliance or process is a non-government organization involved in the Coastal Resource Management Program of Maribohok Bay. This is the biggest bay in the province and a lot of marine resources are present. Most are only found in Maribohok Bay, particularly in Panglao waters. But through the years, Maribohok Bay has been abused, causing a decline in coral reefs and aquatic resources. But the problems of the deep cannot be solved by just one organization. Through the German-Philippine Development Cooperation Program, PROCESS has been working together with the German Development Service, or DED. We've been a partner of DED since 1994. Now, what we requested to them was an expert on coastal resource management. That's why uh, Antonio came in and really helped us in helping our staff technically. They taught our uh, staff for scuba diving skills, and uh, they also helped us in the data gathering and analysis and other CRM techniques. Aside from his work at the process office, Antonio leads presentations to local public officials, giving them an overview of the importance of coastal resource management. It was not the same month, so of course that's going to affect the result of the monitoring. In general terms, I have to say that the local government units here are quite supportive. We have some enthusiastic mayors and councillors, but it's completely different to deal with them than to deal with the communities. Not content with just meeting with public officials and training the process staff, Antonio decided to dive directly into the heart of the program by joining his team in personally training the fishermen. In the municipality of Maribohok, Antonio and his team from Process are conducting a refresher training course for the local fishermen. But Antonio realized that to better communicate with the community, he had to walk the walk and talk the talk. I spent my first time here a bit in isolation. I couldn't understand anything. I didn't know what people wanted from me. I didn't even know what they were expecting from me. But talking with the colleagues, it was Bisaya by immersion. So after a while, um, I started mixing up English with Bisaya. Sa ato apa, kasagara mo imo duhara ka transex. Kay igo na, kay gamay put ang mga santuario diri sa Maribohok Bay, no? And all of a sudden, hey, I had my first meeting and I was discussing a thing in Bisaya. That's great. 
Ni, ni. Ibutan dia. Linear lah. Pinter lagi. Sa tinuan, kolo, tiliang ka niya mabutang ang kakoy. Isip, timay lang. Kay basi, but lang. Pemingan mo nang kita. Huwag ko magdahom nga. Kamao na siya masaya. Ipagita niya ito sa Manila. Tapos, tingnan niya. Ay, ba't tagal? Sa sa mall. Historia, alam mo. Bisaya yang itu bag, kamu tengah aku kak, kemau gitu ya, bisaya. Bu, kunti lima waktu bisaya pareho, tinggal gak ya? Tidak ada uang kok. The workshop tackles the different aspects of data gathering or monitoring of the community's protected marine sanctuary. They are taught everything from determining the factors that affect monitoring to how to fill out the different forms and collate the data. This ensures that the local fishermen can continue to monitor the bay on their own in preparation for the eventual pullout of the process team. The fisherfolk actively participate in discussing how to save their waters. They know they still have a lot to learn the next day in a place much bigger and more familiar to them. The next morning, Antonio is on his way back to the bay for the second phase of the training when the monitoring team gets to put all they learned the previous day into practice. morning fishermen aren't included in Antonio's workshop, but they too realize the value of marine sanctuaries. Uh, sanctuary is isang parang doon mangitlog yung isda para marami ang isda na mahuli sa mga kagaya ng mga fisherfolk. But the community has not always accepted Coastal Resource Management, or CRM. Sa primero yung suod sa CRM, medyo ang mga tao, first medyo sila nasuko kay sa ilang mga nahuna ang suod sa CRM, mga dilik na bito sila makapanagat. Pero sa hinahinay, nasabtan na nila sa kadugayan nga ang Coastal Resource Management Program mas maayo di ay doon na po'y ipikto nga kayuhan sa mga tao. Ang mga tao rin, dibati na bati siya, kalipay tungkol kay ang mga tao nga taga din hira ba'y monito, pero kailan nag-ibitaw nila nga dali rapo nilang maduol ang mga tao nga taga din hira yun nga may monitor sa mga santuary. After getting their feet wet, the monitoring team is divided into different groups, each with their own specific tasks. One group lays out the transect line and pretends to be the fish, while the other group, which acts as the monitoring team, writes down everything they see in their area, including types of corals, fish, and other creatures. Iba talaga kung nandun lang ka ng barangay hall. Kasi kung doon lang ka sa iba ba, doon lang ka sa barangay hall, hindi nila dali maalala. Pag ma-feel mo sa'ya, maalala din nila. Ah, ganito pala. After several practice runs in the shallow water, the process team lead the fishermen out to the marine sanctuary where they conduct actual monitoring of the coral reefs and fishes. <laughs> From afar, the monitoring team looks like a school of fish bobbing up and down in the water. The process is tedious and tasking, but it has its rewards. Si Rocky Trinsia kaya sa una na ito makita gamay ng isda niya gagamay pag yun puro ka ron na ito makita nagkataghana ang mga klase sa isda niya nanay mga dagko sa mga ito makita
ibang bang butterfly fish. So ang dami no sa yung 1 to 10 cm. As a team returns from their monitoring exercise, the local mayor catches up with the fishermen just in time for a spread of ocean harvest. Nakita namin yung pangangailangan, uh, the need to organize more in coastal resource management. Uh, kumuha kami ng NGO para makatulong ng capacity building ng mga fishermen namin. Mayroon talagang changes kasi uh, yung community mismo mayroon ng direksyon sa coastal resource management. Tapos uh, yung capability at saka capacity nila na sila ang mag-manage, nandun na yun. <laughs> Once the monitoring data is gathered and classified, the monitoring teams return to the municipal hall to present their findings. So what we have put on the Ikaduha, on their own, the fishermen compute the data to determine the percentage of corals and fish. With this impressive showcase of competence, all the partners are confident of the project's sustainability. Most of our fisher folk already knows how to dive, how to do the monitoring, because that's our our goal. Siguro murag mahimo na tiyali kay murag nakahipit tanan sa kuan sa management council murag nakahibaw na unsa pamaagi pag monitor pag record sa tanan mga klase sa makita sa sulod sa sanctuary ug sa gawas. Another example of the local community's empowerment is the government's awarding them certain areas of the bay, like this mangrove forest. But we insist that those protected areas and the mangrove area have to be managed and monitored participatorily. This meant that the people could use the area for income-generating activities, such as ecotourism. The locals themselves safeguard the mangroves because they know that aside from being a tourist attraction, the mangroves prevent soil erosion that could damage Maribohok Bay. Pagbukang liwayway kislap naglalaho Sabay sa pagaot tungong daungan Finally, the bay is seen not only as a source of fish, but also as a partner in human survival. Pag pinabayaan yan, yung mga kabataan namin, wala na makita sigurong mga isda pag darating ng mga ilang taon hindi na sila makakita ng isda doon na lang sila makakita sa libro yan, yeah, masarap yung may santuari we're not protecting the reef because it's pretty the, I mean, we need the reef because we need to fish and we need to fish because we need to eat it's about fishing, it's about economy sa laot ay duyan ng buhay Everyone depends on the sea. Some for food and some for their livelihood. The sea has certainly shaped this community, but now it is the community's turn to shape the sea's destiny. Its fragile life lies in their hands. Siguro ang kamunod sa dagat, mura pag sobra pa siguro gahong isulti, labaw pa siguro ug napay labaw sa ahong kinabuhi, mas ang dagat kay dito magukong nabuhi. Siguro ang dagat kapag tanaw no, murag sumpay siguro sa ahong kinabuhi, kay gawa pa ng dagat, siguro di ipug ko kay manaragat o gawa ko. Hello.